Does an apostle ever show up at your church to provide guidance and correction? Well, that could happen in a New Frontiers church, which believes in apostolic ministry today, along with speaking in tongues, divine healing, and prophecy. It began in the UK in 1979, but today there are over 2,000 churches in 70-plus nations. They have what are called apostolic spheres, which are kind of like districts, but many of them cross international borders. Confluence is the name of the United States apostolic sphere. These churches hold two basic Protestant Christian beliefs and have two ordinances or sacraments. First is baptism, which is by immersion only and for believers only, and second is the Lord's Supper. Some view the Lord's Supper as only symbolic, but others see it as more than that. Communion is open to all believers. New Frontiers claims to be Reformed, or at least Reformed influenced. Many pastors are Calvinists, but not all are Five Pointers. One New Frontiers pastor, Andrew Wilson, teaching pastor at King's Church London, claims to hold three and a half points of Calvinism. Wilson also wrote the book Spirit and Sacrament, where he pushes for ancient liturgy and a Eucharist focus in worship, showing that there is openness for quite different worship styles in New Frontiers also. Another church in Manchester, England says, As we worship together as a body, people will frequently bring verses as contributions along with prayers, prophecies, and the like. When a more unusual gift is brought, e.g. tongues or words of knowledge, we will ground it by briefly explaining what has happened from the Bible. Churches are led by elder teams and congregations are autonomous, so they can withdraw at will and make decisions without seeking denominational permission. But as stated, there are also apostles who work among many local churches. There are different views on creation, such as old earth creation or evolution views. They don't require abstinence from alcohol. They have varying views on end times, and they're opposed to abortion and same-sex marriage. They allow women to do about anything in the church, including preaching, but not to be elders. They teach that after salvation, which is by grace through faith, there can be later fillings or baptism in the Holy Spirit. New Frontiers is certainly not alone in its teaching of ongoing spiritual gifts, including speaking in tongues. One of the most well-known denominations that holds this view is the Pentecostal denomination Assemblies of God. Click here for a two-minute video on Assemblies of God, or for a more detailed look at New Frontiers, click here.